Hello friends, welcome to the industrial automation. In this video, we will learn about counter operation in Siemens TI bottle software. So first question is uh, why we need to use uh, counters. So in automation industries, uh, when process is going on, so we need to calculate how many times process is completed, how many, uh, how many production is completed per day. So for example, in bottle filling plants, how much bottles are totally filled uh, per hour or per day. So that uh, calculation uh, we are uh, using. Uh, counters operations we are making that calculation so uh, generally uh, in C P uh, Siemens PLC uh, three types of count, uh, counter is there uh, one is up counter uh, one is down counter and one is uh, bi-directional counter means up and down counter so here uh, we will see first counter up so from uh, this basic instructions you will get counter operations and first counter is uh, CTU counter up so you can just drag and drop this counter block here uh, we can see there are uh, five parameters in this counter up so first one is counter up pulse so here uh, we are giving pulse for uh, up counter this is uh, for reset the counter so here uh, we are assigning any uh, digital inputs this will be the preset value so after a uh, number of counts uh, when this preset value will be equal to uh, current value so this output will be on this current value is continuously updating the counters what are the values updating uh, for the counter after a certain uh, value like when pre uh, preset value is equal to uh, current value we are getting output here so now I will uh, make monitoring on I have already downloaded uh, this program in PLC and now we will check counter up operation so here I am giving input i0.0 .0 pulse so for, uh, for first pulse it will count 1 again 2 3 4 5 so when this preset value will be equal to uh, current value we are getting output here once again I want to reset uh, this counter so when I will press i0.1 so counter will be reset so this is uh, the up counter operation uh, we can use uh, this MW0, this memory word for computer operation that we will uh, see later on. Second counter is down counter. So this up counter is incrementing the value and same as uh, this down counter is uh, decrementing uh, the value. So here also we are getting this uh, five parameters counter uh, down input. This will be output. Uh, here one uh, extra option is load value that will I, I am going to explain you. And uh, this is same like uh, counter of preset value. Uh, this will be current value which is updating uh, value and he, uh, this will be our output. So we can see that uh, right now current value uh, value is 0 and uh, output is on. So that's why first we will load this preset value into current value. So when I will press I0.3 button, so this preset value will be uh, loaded in current value. So now uh, this counter down value is right now 5. So when I just pressed I0.2, when I give uh, the pulse from I0.2, so this uh, counter will be uh, decrement uh, from that current value. So when this value will be 0 or less than 0, then output will be on. After 0, it doesn't matter uh, how much, uh, how many uh, decrement you are doing, but after 0, uh, this output will be on the same in counter up after 5 or greater than or equal to 5 this output will be on so this operation is for uh, counter down once again I will uh, load this value so this output will be off third counter is a uh, bi-directional counter or we can say is counter up and down so in this block uh, we can see uh, both counter up and down options is there and the same uh, reset and load value is also there so in this block we are getting uh, both operation counter up and counter down so that's why we are calling bi-directional counter so here first input is for uh, up a second input is for down here i have assigned for reset and load value right now this current value is zero now i'm uh, giving pulse at input uh, counter up so you can see this continuously counter is changing and according to when this counter value uh, will be 10 then we are getting output this will be for uh, counter up and when I will uh, 
give pulse for counter down so after 0 or less than 0 we will get output so see you can see here q0 0 0.3 will be on now i can load value or reset value from 0.6 or 0.7 so this will be counter down so in this counter option operation uh, if you want to compare the value so we can use compare operation so downside uh, network 4 i have used comparator so from basic instruction uh, one comp comparator operation block is there so you can see dif different types of comparison equal not equal greater than equal to uh, less than equal to you can use so here uh, you just drag and drop any block here upside you just uh, mention like mw4 i have given this value is for current value and you can in downside you can uh, write down uh, this uh, integer value and this will be output so when this condition will be satisfied that time we will get output here I will load this PLC once again first go offline Now I will make monitoring on. So you can see in comparison block when this condition will be satisfied. So here from this counter up uh, and down I have used this current value. So you can see this memory word is MW4 which we have used from this bidirectional counter. So now I am giving input. So same this changing in mw4 so when this condition will be satisfied this output we are getting here you can use uh, in range also so here i have used uh, greater than equal to less than equal so when this value mw4 value will be uh, greater than uh, equal to 2 or less than equal to 8 that time so we will get output here this block is for uh, in range when our uh, value will be uh, in range uh, this minimum and maximum that times we are getting output you can also you uh, use uh, out range operation so on out uh, range operations when your value uh, will be in out range so when your value is outside of 1 and 9 that times you will get output uh, here so like that you can use uh, different types of compare uh, comparison operations and uh, you can use any logic uh, for process uh, automation and in machine tool also uh, many times we are using uh, counter operation. Thank you for watching the video.